it's Sonia Farrell here from All Heart by Sonia Farrell and Pets Portraits by Sonia Farrell. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to introduce you to this beautiful pup called Walter. Uh, he's been nicknamed the enthusiastic bestie by me <laughs> because that's how his mum describes him. His painting is part of the sheltered pet art collection that I did uh, just recently. Um, it is about uh, really appreciating all the uh, good work that the animal welfare um, does, like organizations such as Animal Welfare League. Um, in November 2022, there was a Animal Welfare Appreciation uh, Award or uh, recognition, and um, I've really based my whole collection of the uh, sheltered pet art around that collection. So Walter is one of those beautiful pups that I've painted, um, a result of a um, pet photography competition, drew names out of a hat and his name came up as one of the 13 uh, pets that I actually painted as part of this collection. So thank you for joining me. I'm just going to have a quick chat about him as his personality because you'll see that he's um, uh, being celebrated in aquamarine and um, green and he has this orange background. So the orange speaks of and the yellow speaks of happiness and joy and just sunshine and all the good things that we think of uh, in terms of summer and fun and all of those things and then the aquamarine speaks of his uniqueness uh, how he is just his own person uh, not to be matched by anybody because he's just who he is and um, just an absolutely beautiful pup and then the green in the ears that uh, really represents um, his sense of adventure he loves uh, playing and um, he's you know just uh, a beautiful, beautiful pup, and the green really brings that out in um, in in um, the color um, descriptions. So, sort of intuitively, the colors uh, provide a um, sort of visual description of the personality of the pet, and that's really how my portraits, my pet portraits, are celebrated. I don't typically do realistic colors in um, the pet portraits that I do. So, being part of the my sheltered pet art collection, I have actually written up a um, like an artwork narrative, which I don't typically do with the um, pet portraits that I do, but with these 13 paintings that I've done, it, they've been on an exhibition. We did a People's Choice Award and um, uh, Walter had a really good following for that. Like absolutely amazing uh, effort um, by his family to uh, recognize the actual special treasure that he is in their family. So I'm going to read you the narrative because it's just so descriptive of his personality and it's come out of how uh, Jude uh, describes um, this beautiful boy. So here it goes. So goofy and fun loving, this handsome mischief maker has taught his mum many things including patience and laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Enthusiasm knows no bounds when Walter gets excited. Running like the wind, he leaps over the furniture, performing zoomies with adept agility despite being such a big boy. <laughs> I can just imagine like an uh, Irish wolfhound body, long legs, beautiful face. Uh, maybe he had a sip of water beforehand and he's got this wet beard, I know. <laughs> Uh, we had a, a Scottish terrier and he, his beard was always wet and he'd want to come and do kisses when <laughs> when that happened. Um, so I digress. So, so despite being such a big boy um, is really where I ended. Okay. Accompanied by favorite toys and treats, games of fetch and chase mean there's never a dull moment in this household. So um, Jude, thank you very much uh, for taking up the opportunity to own uh, Walter's uh, portrait he is a beautiful boy every single photo um, that Jude sent through I must share this with you because it just is such a description of this beautiful boy the first photo I sent I, I received was almost like he was a flying nun uh, he had these ears going this way and I can just imagine it was as he was like leaping and playing <laughs> so and then all most of the others, I would pray, probably say 95% of the other photos that um, Jude sent through had his tongue hanging out. Even this photo, like the reference photo that I used um, from Jude had this tongue hanging out. And if I had painted it, it would look wrong. <laughs> it would just look wrong because it just um, seemed to be like this extra piece hanging there. And it's just, he's just who he is. He's just so cute and just so adorable. Anyway, so I had to paint it out because it just quite didn't look, quite look right for the, for the, the exhibition. But I think if uh, Jude had 
you know, um, yeah, she was very flexible, which is wonderful. <laughs> so thank you very much. I'll actually just uh, bring this in closer because I do love this boy's eyes. He's just absolutely adorable. A uh, bit of a shine there. So um, he has got um, the most beautiful spiky beard, the really big rubber nose. Um, the artwork is being uh, displayed on a 40 centimeter, sorry, 40 centimeter by 50 centimeter, wide, uh, 50 centimeter high canvas on a thick sort of gallery wrap um, canvas, all done with uh, artist quality paints. Um, this is a watercolor on um, like a mixed media uh, medium. We have added a bit of texture in the background, so you don't necessarily see that texture as much and maybe even not even feel it that much, but it is actually a little bit, it does have a bit of texture that hides the canvas texture. And this is um, part of the uh, celebration of this watercolor piece um, with Walter. So thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to see any more of my paintings, pop onto my website. There's plenty to see there. Uh, even on my YouTube channel, I've done a similar um, description of just about every single... <laughs> pet art I've done so uh, if you love hearing um, how people celebrate their beautiful furry beautiful furry kids um, please pop on um, and subscribe if you'd like to see the latest I also do <clears throat> art workshops um, moving some of my art workshops online as well so look out for that coming soon um, and uh, yeah so best to see what I have on offer and all my special um, competitions like this one was the result of a competition any of the special competitions and things I run I put that all on my website so be sure to pop on there and have a look so thanks for joining me all the very best to you guys um, if you need any more just message me if you like this video I'd love you to just uh, shoot me a hands up or a thumbs up <laughs> a thumbs up and uh, just say hi and it'll be wonderful all right guys have a good one keep well bye bye